Hello everyone, welcome to Wiz Labs. We are here to demonstrate a lab from Hashicorp Certified Terraform Associate Certification. So there are two ways by which you can access the labs. One by accessing from the course page. So here it is, practice tests, video lectures and hands-on lab. You can access it from here. Here you will see all the labs which is related to this certification. And there is one more way from which you can access that is by clicking on platform and then hands-on labs. So here, here you will get multiple labs. So I have selected the certification, the filter, which is related to HashiCorp certificate, Terraform associate. There are 32 labs by which you can practice and prepare for the examination. Let's start. So here it is the lab launch an EC2 instance as a web server using Terraform. So in this page, you can see the lab details, few important points regarding EC2 and Terraform, and then prerequisites. Like you should install Terraform and then install Visual Studio Code, which is an editor. So it's not compulsory. You can use your own editor like Notepad++, Sublime or Atom. These are the tasks which you will perform. You can launch the console by clicking the Start Lab. Here it is. On this screen, you will see the lab steps, which is starting from the open console, then log into the AWS console, how you have to set up the Visual Studio code. So this is up to you. If you are going to practice in Notepad++ or Atom, then we are going to create some .tf file, which is a Terraform extension. And then we will see how we can configure and launch an EC2 instance. Let's start. First, we can open the console. You can copy paste the username and password. So this is the succeeding the usage or any credit card details. Nothing to worry about all those things. And then we need the configuration, the .tf file, which we will be using to launch the EC2 instance. So I have already created it, which is given in this instructions page also. That is this resource, AMI, all the minute details, which is required to launch an instance, AMI ID, instance type, and then this user data. If you want to practice, you can do it without writing this user data also you just have to see whether the instance is getting created or not so let's see i have already copy pasted it here it is the provider attribute the keyword and the resource keyword so these are the reserved keyword which are used with terraform so provider is used to provide all the plugins which are required to connect with Terraform so that it can help to configure the resources on multiple clouds, whether it's AWS GCP or Azure or some other clouds like digital oceans and etc. So we have written AWS means we have, we are using AWS plugin for that. We need one region access key, then secret key. So region we can see from the console that it is already selected Northern Virginia which is US East 1 so the same we have written in our .tf file then access key and secret key 
this we get from here this one let's copy paste it secret key now the provider block is completed now we will move to the resource block so it helps to create the resource whether it's in AWS, Azure or any other clouds. Then this is the resource name. And this is the resource type what we are creating. Like whether it's an EC2 instance or whether it's a security group or a VPC like that. So we are mentioning AMI ID and instance type. So we need an ID like based on what kind of operating system we will be launching an EC2 instance so this we can take a sample from our console only let's go to EC2 so let's go to AMI catalog you just have to take the ID this one is the AMI ID. E2 micro is selected and then the user data. So we will be creating an Apache server and we will be launching a simple HTML web page. Now the configuration file is ready. Now open the command prompt. Also check where our files are located so as we have installed the terraform we should check where it is created we should remember this path because it will be used let's delete all the other files so this is our .pf first exercise .pf which we are using here in the notepad let's save it now copy the path C drive terraform now the first command is terraform init so this is used to initialize the working directory which the terraform code will be using like it download modules and other plugins it's like setting up a backend for storing terraform and other state files Now we can see Terraform has been successfully initialized. Now the next command is Terraform plan. So this is basically used to read the code and show the plan of execution or deployment. Like what things, what resources is going to be created, its numbers or its configuration we can see with this command let's run this it says one to add zero to change and zero to destroy means anywhere one resource is has been created we can see check what has been created so it's mentioned instance type so these all are the configurations which we can use in our .tf file to launch an EC2 instance but we have started with the minimal configuration that is AMI ID and instance type now from this we can see that only one resource is going to be created based on our configuration now the next command is Terraform apply so this will actually deploy the configuration whatever we have mentioned or configured to create an EC2 instance or other thing this command will help to actually deploy them let's run it here 
here is a prompt just click yes it has been started we can go in our console and check instances this web instance is a name which you can see in our code this one so it has been started the creation let's refresh it and check it's running we can see the other details like ip address public private security networking all those things you can check based on our instructions we have also created an apache server and we have also mentioned some codes related to our web page so let's check that whether it's getting open or not so here is the public ip address let's check it yes welcome to wiz labs happy learning this is the same what we have mentioned in our configuration now let's destroy our resources whatever terraform has created so there is a command for that terraform destroy Here is the prompt, just click the S. Now it will start destroying the resources. You can check by refreshing here. Now the resource has been destroyed. You can check from the console. The instance is terminated. To destroy the AWS console and other resources, just click on end lab. So we have completed the demonstration. Hope you all have enjoyed. Thank you. Learn with Wits Labs. Success Certified.